give him a mask, and he will tell you the truth. Nazi free. This cute little kitten is going to prove that there is no God. And I know you can't disprove a negative, but you can debunk myths and expose falsehoods. And that's what this little kitten is going to do. Now, at first glance, many kittens actually inspire the idea of some intelligent design, of some magnificent, all-knowing, all-loving supreme being that knew full well what it was doing when it created this furry little creature. Because when you look at a kitten long enough, it's like a wonder of nature. Its piercing eyes and almond-shaped pupils provide it with superior night vision. His ears function like supersonic satellites that pick up vibrations that not even dogs can hear. And kittens are instantly adorable. The look on their face and the way it runs around and plays with its mother that makes you think, yes, there is some good in this world. That must be God. But don't forget that within its little paws, it has claws too. Tiny little switch blades ready to scratch you and cut up smaller animals when necessary. It also has fangs, which it's more than happy to show you when it feels threatened. Go ahead, go show me your little fangs. Go like he did to me the other day. <laughs> it did it to me like it was trying to threaten me, which I thought was so cute. But once I managed to pick him up like this, he just looked at me with his big eyes like saying, please don't hurt me. And that's the thing that makes me wonder, how is it possible that within less than three months on this planet, this kitten already feels threatened for its life? And why must it come equipped with built-in knives and razors to slash open other forms of life that it'll ultimately eat alive just to survive? It begs the question, who in their right mind designs life this way? What benevolent, all-loving, all-forgiving supreme being creates life in such a manner where every form of life needs to eat another form of life in order to survive, only to then shit them out in the most disgusting manner possible? For anyone who is honest with themselves about these irrefutable observations, they will realize just how cruel, unfair, and downright unfeeling life can be. Even when you remove humans from the equation, Forget about all the murder, rape, child molestation, wars, genocide, etc. Just look at how animals have to eat each other alive every day and even strip animals from the planet. There's hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions constantly changing the face of the earth. Remove earth from the equation of life. You still get meteors and asteroids violently colliding against one another. Suns and their gamma rays imploding and creating black holes and destroying everything within a trillion mile radius without any seemingly willful conscious motive. If there is a supreme being out there, it obviously has a twisted sense of humor, let alone humanity. But instead of thinking that there must be a supreme being, and much less one with a twisted sense of humor, maybe the real truth is that life is just an infinite, inevitable, senselessly random chemical reaction where matter and energy cannot be created or destroyed, but transfers from one form to another on and on forever. And maybe that same leap of logic that so many religious people hold dear, that God could not be created, that God is just beyond time and space, I'm willing to bet my soul, which is an easy bet because it doesn't exist either, that the real truth is that God is just a man-made euphemism for life itself. And I don't mean to sound grandiose or much less pretentious, but I think therein lies the ultimate paradox to life and its very meaning. Just like you can't truly appreciate pleasure without knowing pain, perhaps meaning and purpose can only be appreciated by embracing the uncertainty and undeniable randomness of this life. And I know it's a little grim to think that there's no daddy in the sky that's gonna right every wrong that's been committed on this earth. That the Adolf Hitlers and Joseph Stalins of this world managed to get away with their unconscionable crimes against humanity without truly paying for all the irreparable damage they left behind. And of course, it's just as sad and scary to think that when we die and our loved ones die, we'll never see each other again. These are some of the fundamental reasons why people continue to hold on to the falsehoods known as every single religion. Many falsehoods and obvious lies that have held us back as a species, that blinded us from reason and scientific inquiry that can ultimately solve our problems instead of sending us off to war with each other or starving ourselves to death. But look, I wanna end this video on a positive note, okay? After all, I want more subscribers to my channel, not less. And man, I hope this video will be monetized. But even if it isn't, I think we're still worth making. Because I want to say that life is definitely worth living, especially when you think you need God the most. When life is the most challenging and demanding, and even painful, it can also be when it's most rewarding and enlightening. When you realize you can't turn to any God, but you can only turn to yourself, that's what separates the strong from the weak, the takers from the givers, the victors from the victims. And I wonder if that's why whenever depression takes a hold of me, for example, I always find the cure is to get to work on something. 
especially whatever it is that is depressing me. I focus on the solution. It seems like the best you can do is try and solve those problems. Because if there is any message that life or the universe or even this little kitten are trying to send us, is to be creative, be productive, solve your own problems before other forms of life, especially death, do it for you. And if after you solve your own problems, you have the time to help other people solve theirs, do that too. And while it's mostly true that no good deed goes unpunished, it's amazing how good those good deeds feel in hindsight. Because like the Beatles song goes, in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Is that cheesy? No, well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it or hit the like button, or subscribe and click the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, please consider buying a t-shirt or some merchandise in the links below or by monthly subscription via Patreon for as little as $1, or a simple one-time donation at paypal.me slash homegrown.